I get a lot of questions about adjust, adjusting the linkage and really um, what we're doing is setting the linkage. There's not much of a way to adjust the linkage. It kicks in right at the end of the throttle travel so you can drive down the road 80 miles an hour on the center carburetor which you really should do. The end ones are only meant to be uh, used to wide open throttle. Uh, this is a slide bar that runs from the, this is a 65 tri-power, 66 very similar, 64 is the same. Uh, this is a slide bar that runs between the front carburetor and the rear and it just has a little ball and socket pops on the rear. It goes on the inside. I see a lot of people run on the outside. Uh, it's not right. You can if you want it doesn't hurt anything, but it's a little cleaner to run on the inside. Uh, what I look at is uh, the throttle stops. They're right here. When the carburetor is open, wide open throttle, uh, that's what stops it right there. And you can see um, the center one is wide open. See the, you can see the stop here. It's hit the stop. But the rear one is not. So the way to do that is to elongate the rod to make the rear one longer, to make the rear one open. So basically it's just a matter of getting that uh, right so that the, all the throttle stops uh, hit at the same time. Still not quite open. There you go. So that's that's how you'd set it. You'd put the counter, you would uh, tighten this uh, nut up against the fitting there so it won't keep moving. Um, comes pretty close to the rod here, but it shouldn't hit uh, to this accelerator pump rod. If it does hit, you've got a couple of uh, things you can do. You can put the, this arm in a vise and just bend it out slightly. Don't do it while it's on the carburetor. Um, this is an aftermarket arm. It's held on with the screw. The original is peened on, but in any case, uh, you don't want to pull on that rod um, with it on the carburetor. If you clamp this into a vise, even on the carburetor, you can do that. Take the carburetor off, put it in the vise, pull out on this. The other thing you can do, and I have had to do this actually, there's a small spacer here between this J-bar linkage and the throttle linkage on the carburetor, just a washer. Uh, I pre-fit this and uh, I was, uh, it was too close. The peg here was hitting the accelerator pump rod, so I put a, a washer under there. Uh, another way to avoid that would have been to put this in a vise and bend this outward, but it really wasn't bent. So just uh, differences, you got a lot of reproduction things here. Uh, just differences uh, between one carburetor and another. Um, the rest of the linkage is on the passenger side, basically the very simple long rod that hooks the front and back carburetors. A couple things to look at here. These levers from front to back are different. Um, if you look at the hole in the rear carburetor uh, linkage, it's just big enough to fit the rod. In the front one though, it's an oval shaped hole, it should be. And that's so that there'll be a little play and the rod won't get hung up. Um, I have the, the grasshopper clips off this for pre-fitting. Um, so you put it in the back one. It should be right in the middle of the center of this uh, front one. So there's a little wiggle room here when you step on it. Uh, so that there won't, and that's how it should be, so that it won't hang up. Um, the rod has a bend in the middle here, and that's how to adjust it. So if it's, it's not uh, right in the middle of this oval hole in the front, and bend the rods so that it will be. And the grasshopper clips, of course, that's what I call them, look like a little grasshopper bike. Um, pretty easy to install. Uh, front and rear and, and you're done. So it's two ways set the linkage. Uh, you remember you don't really adjust it. Set it over on the uh, driver's side so that all three carburetors are open at the same time. And then you set it on the passenger side so that the long rod is right in the center of the oval hole which is in the front carburetor. You want to put the, the uh, lever with the round hole in the back.